Welcome to SafeCalculation.com. For any inquiry, you can email us SafeCalculation at gmail.com. WhatsApp call plus 62821144834491. Today's topic is lifting pad eye split set calculation. Lifting pad eye design. The design load safety working load we are using 40 ton. Safety factor 1.5. So to calculate load is around 60 ton to double check uh, that this the pad eye is very strong to carry the structure material we are using here 235 mile steel HDM 86 so you can change to make it higher if this calculation is not passed or you need to make it more more strong so the bending stress the allowable bending stress 1.1 the series allowable series stress is a 94 and then this one is the stress is in incumbent. Dimension of the pad eye. The thickness of main plate is we are using the 40 mm. So you can change the thickness, however you want. And then the thickness of cheek plate, uh, radius of main plate also you can change. Radius of cheek plate is 85. Diameter of the hole is the 60 mm. Diameter of the second beam is the 51 so value of chip plate is a 10 mm and then the height of pinhole center is a 300 mm this one width of the pet eye 500 here so you can change also depends on your structure so that this one have the uh, uh <coughs> place to install uh, this uh pet eye okay but one thing that you must check all the this dimension uh, either fast or fail so there's a main uh, criteria that you need to check on this the pad eye is the check bearing stress in fin hole check shear stress in pin hole check welding size of cheek plate check bending stress at the foot of pad eye check axial stress on the at the foot of pad eye check shear stress at the foot of pad eye check principal stress at the foot of pad eye so this the check bearing stress in pin hole there's a formula and then you can refer to allowable bearing stress if this the allowable bearing stress is 215 no more than than this so this one is a less 183 so still pass and then check shear stress in pin hole the shear stress you are getting is a 72.8 but the allowable steel stress is 94 it's also below from the 94 we are getting 72.8 the welding size of chick plate also the same steel stress in welding we are just getting 29.8 but the allowable steel stress is a 94 so still pass bending stress at the pull of the die uh, the allowable is the 141 but the bending stress we are getting 27 Axial stress at the put pad eye, the allowable bending stress is 1.1, but the axial tension st stress is the uh, uh, 30 newton per millimeter. Check shear stress at the put pad eye, the allowable shear stress is the 94, and then the shear stress is the 7.5. The principle allowable principle is the 176.3 but the principal stress we are getting is a 51 so pass so the de the design of the best pad eye is here is uh, acceptable but let's say that we are going to change the design safety working lot to make it bigger 50 ton so this let's check it out either pass or not uh, so this one is the fail the bearing stress is the fail so you cannot use this uh, size to carry the 50 ton so you have to reduce unless you modify the the uh, material to be high stencil EH36 let's say 3355 here the yield stress so this one is become pass okay because you are using very strong material okay so uh, you can uh, play change this uh, design safety working lot or the material
or you can change also this the size to make it the thickness is very less then okay you can change this one also so the uh, this one is uh, automatic all this is automatic we cannot change uh, because it depends uh, with the formula okay so this one you can change all the right one you can change also and this one also you can change so it depends uh, it depends to you uh, how much the structure that you are going to carry so you can change all these things huh? okay. so the formula is already automatic so you don't need to change and then this the lifting pad I design is, uh, has been probed uh, we have using to many projects Okay, and then being afloat with the classification rules also. So this the formula is uh, uh, difficult, will not change uh, anything. And then all the uh, referring to the classification rules also the same as the ABS, DMP, OVP. Okay, so this the design is bad eye. So make sure that before you lift in uh, anything, uh, before you do the uh, welding uh, construction on the pen eye, you have to double check all the this the size the size and able to carry the lot okay uh, and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel safe calculation com if you need safe calculation and safe design drawing you may contact us email the following email uh, safe calculation at gmail.com whatsapp call plus six two eight two one one four four eight three four nine one Office call is the plus sixty two seven seven eight four eight zero eight one two seven and then you might go to our website www.sipcalculation.com Thank you very much for you watching. I'll see you again. Bye bye.